Hey guys, so today's is a quick video that I just wanted to show you and I'm going to be using these. They are the candy carvings, you know the ones that come in like squeezy packets that you've seen on some of the Korean videos where they do like the open heart. Now I have a black and milk white and I had seen Journal, Journal, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, do a panda bear with their zigzag gels. So I fancied giving it a try. I haven't given him a face. But he is facing forwards. Otherwise you could put another little white dot there for his tail. Um, I normally don't try things in advance. I like to just do them and film as I'm trying. But this one I've tried with a couple of different things and cocked up. So this one I actually wanted to try before filming. Just so I could at least show you properly. Um, you can also check out her video. Um, I will see if I can put a link in the description. And she does a really, really cute set using a panda bear. But anyway, so this is what I'm going to be showing you how to do. Um, I've painted a nail. I've matte top coated it just because I want a matte base and shiny panda to stand out more. But you don't need to do that. And if you have any, you want these doesn't have to be the same brand just like a squeezy gel um in a black and white or other colors you could use the same way of doing it to do a teddy bear if you have brown or any of the other colors okay okay just let me wipe this off because i've had black on it so what you need is just i have a very short one just a, a little brush so you can move your stuff around and I found the black easier to squeeze than the white one, incidentally. Um, so, bear with me while I squeeze this out. There we go. Can I zoom you a little more? Yes, I can. So, as you can see, can you see that it kind of connects itself to my brush? So I just kind of use that to, whoops, sorry, push it around to the position that I want it in. Now this does self-level some but not loads. So when you pull your brush off, if you have any points, you're going to um, want to get rid of those. And I'm talking as I'm going, I'm not gonna do a voice service. Uh, this is actually going to be in in real time. I mean, I think the more experience you get, I'm just going to cure that for 15 seconds. The more experience you get, the quicker you can probably go. Um, but I'm pretty new at using this, so it's taken me a little while. So that was my white, and I'm going to get black ones. Now I've seen like. Pachaco, the cute little dog character done with these. I've seen like brown ones using teddy bears, but when I ordered these in my latest sheen order, I literally just ordered a bunch of white, bunch of black and some clear. Um, so I could get the designs I wanted, but I am gonna order some more. So for the black in his ears, I'm just gonna squeeze the tiniest drop out. Can you see that? Okay, that's maybe a little bit of a too big of a squeeze. And attempt to collect that on my brush. And then we will give our little pandy some ears. Right, I did squeeze too much out, so I'm gonna use one drop to attempt both ears. Sorry, I'm cutting you out of the camera again. There we go. Right, 
Okay, his ears are a little lopsided. I'm going to attempt the tiniest little blob to add on to that. Let's see if I make him even more uneven, shall we? Do you see what I mean about it staying up in a point? Okay. Now, I'm going to use the tube and then the brush, which I'm currently rolling all over my desk like a mad woman. And I'm going to do like his little neck piece. But before, I did like a strip. Honestly, that strip was too much. So this time, I'm doing a blobby bit. And then I'm going to move it to where I want it. Sorry, I'm out of camera again, aren't I? Okay, I am just moving that to where I want it. Okay, and I am going to nuke this one again. Okay, so next we're going back in with the white. These were brand new tubes and, you know, came in the packaging, but I just feel like the white is so much less in there than the black because the black you barely touch and that sucker comes right out. This white, not so much. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on that one because I'm not going to need that one anymore. And it saves it rolling around my table. So, we are just back to moving this gel around to where we want it. His cute little panda belly. So we'll nuke that one again, just flash curing. Um, I'm gonna full cure at the end, but for now, I'm just flashing it so I can't balls it up while I'm showing you how to do it. Okay, so we are back out. His body is a little longer than I meant it to be, but you live and you learn. So we're getting another tiny little bubble although slightly bigger than we needed for the ears. And these are going to be his little hands. And I found because it makes a ball on the end of my brush, I found it easier to go in, lay it like that and then stretch it up to his body and connect it. And then just play with it if it needs it. And while I'm here, I'm going to do his feet. So a slightly smaller ball, more like the ear size ball, because they have tiny little legs. This hasn't quite gone on the end of my brush, as you can see. So we are just going to see what happens. Just trying to get it off of my brush. Okay, I will go back in and fix that in a moment. As you can see, it's elastic. It should slowly pull its way back into the ball. Sometimes it is just a case of waiting and trying to move it off.
Okay, so we'll nuke that one. Okay, and there we have him. Slightly crooked, but still definitely a panda. Now, I just have a tiny pot of black gel paint next to me. And I thought I would attempt to give the little dude some eyes. Now, oops, just trying to work my way around. Okay, so his eyes are kind of like tiny little commas. Apparently I need a little bit more gel on my brush. Hmm. Okay, that is, that's not right. He's a very crooked little panda. Okay. I'm going to give him a nose because the more I play with this, the worse I'm making it currently. Okay. So I redid his eyes off camera because they really cheesed me off. I was trying to give him a smile, but I accidentally gave him a smirk. So, well, so this was my first try. And this was my second. I think it went a little better. But yeah, anyway, that is a panda using the Mowbray Candy Carving Gels. I've seen them on Bertie Moon Sheen and I think I paid a pound. They were on my haul video. I think I paid like a pound each or something. They are not a lot. And as you saw, okay, apart from the white in this video, you really don't need a lot of them because they are stretchy. And they go quite far. But they're just a nice way to, to add a touch to a nail. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you've got some that you use for other stuff, give it a try. And if not, definitely worth having in your kit to add the odd bit to a nail. Just to add like that little 3D detail. Because look, his little self is raised. Um, if I'd have added more, he could have been a bit more raised. But not bad overall and he dries non-sticky which is also good because that means you can choose to top coat him or you can top coat your entire design and then add him on at the end and you won't need to do anything with him but anyway thank you all for watching um if you haven't subscribed already please do i have regular videos coming out um, if you've enjoyed it, please leave me a like. It really helps my channel grow. And thank you all for watching to the very, very end. And I will see you all soon, guys. Bye.